Hi everyone, today we're talking about pH and because we're talking about pH, we're gonna test the pH of all these different waters that I have here. What is pH? pH represents hydrogen potential. And so the pH of something lets us know how many hydrogen ions it has. The more hydrogen ions it has, the more acidic it will be. The fewer hydrogen ions that a substance has, the more alkaline it will be. So why is pH important to our bodies? Well, number one, we are what we eat. And so if we eat high alkaline foods, it's gonna help maintain our body's pH. Our body should maintain a normal pH of 7.3, 7.6. It's slightly alkaline and it's away from that acidic range. And so fruits and vegetables are high in the alkalinity scale and so that's gonna help us maintain that proper pH balance so that our body can work and metabolize and use everything appropriately. And so if we eat too many acidic foods, such as pizzas, hot dogs, hamburgers, coffee, alcohol, cheeses, pastries, and microwavable foods, all of those are on the acidic side. And so those are gonna just drag our overall body's pH in the wrong direction. And it's gonna be a struggle for our metabolism to maintain that 7.35 range. pH is very important to our bodies so that we can maintain that healthy, natural balance state. It's called homeostasis. We're gonna be using Lab Rat Supplies pH test kit that comes with water drops and the handy pH scale. So we're gonna test all of these waters and determine if they are in the acidic orange and yellow range or if they're in the pH neutral range of 7.0 or in the slightly alkaline range. So we're gonna first start with the Dasani water and work our way all throughout. And it's four drops because we've poured out 20 milliliters into each little mini cup. And so it's two drops per 10 milliliters. So we're gonna start with the Dasani water. Here we go with one, two, three, four. already see there are a lot of different colors here and so it's gonna be interesting once we're done we're just gonna give them a little bit of a mix and make sure that these colors are representative of what the pH is as well as we're gonna be testing it against this pH scale as we just saw the importance of pH and how the different waters had different pH levels well, there are many different ways that we can regulate the pH in our body. First is deep breathing exercises. Two is meditation. Calmness, a calm mental state, helps achieve an alkalinity of the body. Three, exercise, helps also alkalinize the body. And fourth, and perhaps my favorite of all, is the use of magnets on different areas of the body. So all magnets have a North Pole and a South Pole. They always have two faces. And so with a magnet, magnets move electrons around. And the hydrogen atom contains one proton and one electron. And so through the use of magnets, when you bring one magnet close to the other one, when they are of equal polarities or same side face, you can move, physically push, repel the other one away. When you bring it with the opposite face, it can pull the electrons towards. So these magnets can be used on the body over different areas, say the liver, my liver is acidic, and so I can place the magnets in a very specific area to restore the pH balance of the liver. And so by placing magnets all around the body in pairs, you can restore the pH balance and thereby allow for health to be replenished or stabilized to achieve homeostasis. And so, once again, this happens to be my favorite way of restoring our body's pH and energy and immune system and creating some amazing changes in the body. 
So because the black water and the true nopal water have two different colors that don't allow us to see what the pH is with the drops, we're gonna use the pH paper. So here I have two cups where we're gonna pour the black water into the cup. Good enough. And the true no pow water into the cup. Good enough. And I'm gonna use these pH test strips called Flow Clear. And so I'm gonna just dip this in. One second. There we go. And I'm gonna dip the other one into here. One second, there we go. And so now I'm going to check them against the pH here. And the pH is coming out to about 6.6. .6 roughly for the black water and for the true no pal it's less than 6.0 so now that we have tested all of these waters we've rearranged the waters in order from the most acidic to the most alkaline and so we've decided to replace here and a pink here because these liquids are black and pink. We decided to go with their representative pH colors. And so I wanted to test my house or tap water and see where it falls uh, in pH range. And so using the same dropper, we're gonna go with four drops, one, two, three, four, and mix this. So most municipalities level off their pH to 7.0. And so I would say that so far the perfect 7.0 water was Kirkland's water. And so this, as you can see, is green. And I would say that it falls, seeing the colors here, probably just in between the Waikia and the Kirkland water. And so here, once again, you can see this beautiful rainbow combination of the waters. Not that you have to avoid these waters, but drinking these waters would be equivalent to having a glass of wine or sodas, Coca-Cola, things that we know they're not beneficial for you. And so it's best if you have a water that is already naturally balanced and therefore your body can save the energy of trying to restore this pH and it can dedicate that energy and those other metabolic byproducts to whether it's boost your immune system or do something that's much healthier and optimal for your overall homeostasis or balance of your body. Once again, in terms of all the different ways that we can stabilize and improve our body's pH, I would say that the use of magnets is by far my favorite.